Every morning I wake up and see the splendor of Allah's beauty. The sky at dawn, the silent trees. Praise be to Him, supreme is He. Praise be to Him, supreme is He. As I set to start my day, I think of Allah and I pray His blessings are with me. بسم الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبع سنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to another episode of your show Think About It here on Huda TV and today we want to talk about something that really many people think about and they think about it in many stages of their life and it's a question that many people cannot, they themselves cannot come up with the answer or they come up with answers that really are not the proper or the fulfilling answer and that is what is the purpose of our lives? what is the purpose of our lives? many people it's a, it's a question that is frequently popping up in our, in our, in our minds and it's a question that so many people have varying views. Some people will say our purpose in life is to have fun. Some people will say that our purpose in life is to gather so much wealth and become extremely rich. Some people will say that our purpose in life is to be good to people and just live the best life we can. And others will give many different answers. But none of those really provide a proper uh, and fulfilling answer. I mean, if we look at the, the reason, let's just say we look at the reason of the purpose of life is to become rich. So then what happens when that person has reached millions? Or maybe that person may become the richest person in the world. What is his purpose of life become after that? He's reached these millions. He's become the richest man in the world. Does his purpose of life then stop? And after that, onwards, he has no purpose? That is a, I mean, if wealth, if we look at wealth being an aim, we, we often hear of many millionaires, many celebrities who have, you know, are millionaires. And they have considerable wealth, private jets and the best sports cars and the best that life can give but we see that they tend to have miserable lives many of them commit suicide sometimes we hear whole families of rich individuals committing suicide we hear many stories of famous musicians committing suicide we hear many stories of musicians saying that they have regular suicidal thoughts we hear the same for uh, actors and actors and actresses we see many of these people who seem to have what we many people aspire they have the fame they have wealth they have all the money they need they have this all the all of the uh, sports cars and all of the things in life that one assumes would be the best life and so that really you know we ask ourselves can this gathering of wealth can this be the ultimate happiness for an individual in most cases the answer is no uh, it's not a constant purpose it's a temporary purpose therefore cannot be the main purpose in our lives and if we I mean let, let's look at it from the logic we know that a child of five years old does not look for wealth he prefers a toy to a million dollars um, the teenager or the young man of 18 does not dream of wealth as that much because he's looking at more important things and the man who's 90 years old he doesn't care much about money anymore in general so this is you know he's more worried about his health so this shows us that the constant purpose in life cannot be money because it changes according to the various stages of someone's life and in, in reality as we've seen from many famous scenarios and stories and incidents wealth will not bring that that ultimate happiness to a person. Now, what does Islam tell us? 
Islam tells us the contrary to this. Islam says that having faith in Almighty God, in Allah, that this gives us a purpose in life that we need. Uh, so the purpose of life in Islam is to worship Allah. And it says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبَدُونَ That I did not create mankind and the jinn, the spirit life, except that they should worship me. So the Quran explicitly tells us here, the ultimate purpose in life is to worship, it, worship Allah. And this is what makes our life purposeful, it makes our life meaningful. And according to Islam, this world is just a, and we all have a different episode talking about life after death, but Islam, you know, this worldly life is a short stage. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he told us to live this life as if you are gharib, as if you are a stranger, or abir as sabil or someone who's just walking through this earth. You just, you know, you're, you're just a traveler, as in this is a temporary place, and this is not the, you know, this is not our permanent home. So, Islam tells us that the ultimate purpose is that we are on this earth is to worship Allah so that we can be successful in this life and in the hereafter and inshallah be of those who will be entered into paradise. Now, this life is also a test for us. Uh, Islam looks at this life as an, ex like an, exa an ongoing examination, an ongoing test to see how you're achieving to see the levels you're reaching just like you have the tests to see how you're doing in university or how you're doing in school or you have um, you have reviews and at, at work to see how you're meeting your objectives you know this life is one long examination and this is one of the purposes of life the main one being to worship Allah but Allah also says in the Quran he says الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةُ لِيَبْيُوكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا That it is he who created life and death to see which one of you is best. الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا The one, he who created life and death to see which is the best of you in actions. So this is a test for us. Our life is a is a test and we mentioned that whole in one of our previous episodes the importance of having this taqwa when we talked about the fasting that one should constantly have this consciousness that almighty god allah is watching him in everything he does and we mentioned the really beautiful hadith of when the angel gabriel came and asked the prophet muhammad to explain islam and we mentioned the five pillars and to explain iman and we mentioned the six articles of Iman, of faith. And then we mentioned the third one about having Ihsan, doing everything in its, you know, and he mentioned it is worshipping Allah as if you can see Him. And if you cannot reach that state, then at least know that Allah watches everything that you do. And that is the reality. And that is what we should implement in our lives. And this is how we can fulfill our purpose, first of all, by worshipping Allah following his commands, realizing that the truth is clear and the falsehood is clear. It's clear what's true and what's false. It's clear what's good and what's evil. It's clear what's right and what's wrong if we really look at it. And that's why we called this show Think About It. If we really think about it, these things are clear. You can tell the good from the bad, the truth from the false, the good from the evil. It's, you can clearly see this. So we, if we implement this idea or this concept of constantly knowing that we're being watched, then this will have a knock-on effect on how we are in this life. And this will help us to fulfill the purpose. I mean, many people, they are walking around really without a purpose. Or they say, you know, I, we don't have a purpose, you know. We just live our lives, you know, we work, we sleep, we have loved ones, we make some money, we buy some property, we die. End of story. But, you know, do, do we really believe that? I mean, this simple laptop that I use, it has a purpose. The clothes I'm wearing have a purpose to cover my body. 
the lights that we have have a purpose to light up the room. So are we saying that us being the most intelligent forms of beings, that we do not have any purpose? We are simply just without a purpose? It doesn't make sense. If a simple thing like a laptop, not even a laptop, look at a cup, a cup that you drink from, it has a purpose. There is a purpose behind this cup. So can you really then say to yourself that there is no purpose behind us as human beings? Again, this goes against our logic, goes against our rationale, it goes against that God-given intelligence that we've been given. So Islam clearly tells us that the purpose we have in life is to worship Allah alone. And we mentioned the benefits, we mentioned the point, a very important point that when we worship Allah, this does not increase Allah or decrease Allah in any way. If not one person worshipped Allah, this would not decrease in his majesty in any way. And if all of every single human being on earth worshipped him, this would not make him greater or increase him in any way. He is who he is. But we mentioned that this ultimate goal behind the worship is for us, us to benefit from us, us to pass that test, us to be able to have that connection with the Almighty Creator, to have that conversation with the Almighty. That is the ultimate benefit is for us and to pass the test in this life. As we mentioned in the, uh, the second part of this episode, that the other purpose of our life is a test for us to see how we live our lives, to see the kind of deeds that we perform, to see if we live in according to the laws and morals that are revealed to us by the Almighty. And we've come to the end of this episode, which has given us an idea of the purpose of our lives. And inshallah, till we join you, till you join us again, the same time, same place, here on Huda TV, on your show, Think About It. I'm your host, Ismail Bullock, and I leave you as always with the greetings of Islam, the greetings of peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Every morning I wake up and see the splendor of Allah's beauty. The sky at dawn, the silent trees. Praise be to Him, supreme is He. Praise be to Him, supreme is He. As I set to start my day, I think of Allah and I pray. His blessings are with me always. Praise be to Him, most kind is He. Praise be to Him, most kind is He. Every morning I wake up and see the splendor of Allah's beauty. The sky at dawn, the silent trees, praise be to Him, supreme is He.